Hi friends, welcome back. As always, I'm super excited to see you here. If we are meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest videos on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. Today I'll discuss how to create certificates automatically with Google Sheet. So let's see. Using the AutoCRAT add-on with Google Sheets, we can automatically create certificates and send them as PDFs to people whose emails are specified. So the first step is about designing the certificate. We'll choose Google Slides from our Google Drive to design the certificate. We might uh, set up our page setup and give it the dimension that we are comfortable with or the dimension of the certificate that we want. So for example, uh, we might choose pixels here and for our certificate, we are choosing 2000 by 1414 pixels. We might choose any of the templates which are available here to design a simple certificate. For example, we can choose this. We can uh, start off with a heading. We might insert any logo that we might have through the image we might have saved on our computer or we can insert even the uh, signatures that we require but if we want uh, certificates which are a little more evolved or certificates which go beyond these templates then we can design it on one of our page design templates that might be available for example i have designed a certificate on canva here so this is the certificate that I have designed and I have downloaded this certificate as a PNG. So that has been downloaded on my computer. So uh, this is the Google slide and I will insert the image that I've already downloaded on my computer. Open it and we can drag it to make it full screen. We need a custom text for our certificate. For example, in the certificate that I am designing right now, I just require the name. So I will insert a text box where I want the name to appear. I'll specify the font and the font size. One very important thing we have to remember while designing certificates that whatever field that we want to be automated, for example, we want the name to be different for, for all the certificates. So we'll have to use a command which is less than twice and then we just name it something so for example i'm just naming it name and then greater than twice so this is the uh, command for linking this to the name on the google spreadsheet or any other spreadsheet i can align this name centered left aligned or right aligned So this is what it looks like. This is the certificate that was designed and this is the name that is appearing different for different participants. I can just name it. So this part is done. This is what it will appear on the Google Drive. It, it will be saved automatically. And if I make any changes here, it will appear later on as well. In the second step, we need to create a Google form to collect information from students and participants. This is the Google form that I have created for this particular certificate. But this is important. I want them to write their full name here. So this is what I will link with the certificate. I'll now click on to the responses and there I'll click here 
which will create a new spreadsheet. And this is what the spreadsheet looks like. If you see the spreadsheet, you will see that all the things that we have put out on our original Google form is appearing here. For example, I wanted the email to be there and rating etc. And this is how this is appearing here. Email and kindly rate and topics and full name and gender. There is a very important link here which is known as add-on. So we'll have to click on to add-on here. On my system, I've already installed Autocrat. You can type in Autocrat add-on on the Google search bar and install Autocrat add-on to the Google spreadsheet. So as we can see here, there is the Autocrat here and I will have to launch the Autocrat. It is asking me whether I want to create a new job. So I will just create a new job. I will give it a name. This is necessary to distinguish the different certificates that I might be creating on the Google Drive. Once this has been created, we go next and we'll, from there we'll have to choose a template. So these are some of the old templates, but the one we have created, which we named as GMEC certificate that is what will have to be chosen here so we choose it from the drive and as you can see this is the certificate that I have just created using Google slide so I will choose this I will say select and now it has been selected as you can see this GMEC certificate has been selected by Autocrat I will go next it is asking that this is the tag that it has already identified. If you remember, we had put that tag on our design. So let me just go back. This is the tag that was shown here, as you can see. So it is asking me what should this tag be linked to from the columns that we can see here from email, kindly rate etc I will link it to the full name as you can understand the name will appear there so I just click on to full name so the autocrat will instead of this name will type in full name which is there on the Google sheet we will just click on to that and go to next it is asking me two more things to provide here whether I want it as a Google slide or whether I want it as a PDF so I'll just put in PDF here I can add the full name tag with the file name then I can just name it as CERT so all the different certificates will be saved with the name and CERT at the end so this is what is required to be done do you want the output as a multiple mode or a single mode I want it as a multiple mode output I want different PDFs for different people again next where do I want to save it so I might choose a folder where I want this to be saved so I might uh, decide to save it on a certificate folder. So this is the certificate folder I will select. So the other folder I will delete. So this is where all my certificates will be saved. I go to next. This is optional. So we are just skipping this dynamic folder reference. Set merge condition. We can give it a condition. And I can say that the full name equals not null that means it cannot be vacant so this is the condition I'm giving you don't need to give conditions all the time do you want to share it or you just want to keep it of course we want to share it and we send we want to send it by email there are two options they ask allow collaborators to uh, reshare we will say no send from generic no reply addresses no and this is another magic happening here that we can just send it to different emails just by putting in a tag here different people as you can see would have given different email id addresses here so in the two field i just need to provide this email address this address i've copied and pasted the email address in the subject also, I can just write 
certificate for full name. So every email will go with the participant's name. We can also type in a message here which will appear different to different people. We'll write dear followed by the full name tag. So dear full name participation is attached here with or you can write whatever you feel like you can just sign off then we go to next and this is again another important decision that we have to make autocrat is asking me whether i want to run it on form trigger it runs on form trigger when as soon as a participant submits he gets that email with a PDF. So if I put yes here, it will run on trigger. So for that, it asks me, you must enable triggers for this project before you can add one uh, to this job. We'll confirm. So this is done. I just need to save it. I'll just run this. The Autocrat certificate generation job is now complete. I'll now run a demo form to see whether it lands in my email. So now I will submit my response. So let us submit my response. So I will just type in my email. I'll just rate it as the highest. Me, I'll give my name as I want it to appear on this certificate. I'll write the other details. And I'll submit. The certificate has almost instantaneously landed in my email box. It is addressed to me by name. Even the subject line refers to me by name. So it is personalized. If I click onto the PDF attachment, I can see the PDF certificate. It has my name exactly as I put on the Google form. So whatever name we put on the Google form appears here on the certificate. Thanks for staying along friends. As usual, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.